The vast stretch of Philippine waters is home to an assortment of marine plants and animals. Creatures of different colors and sizes all link to one another in order to sustain life. Tiny plankton are floating organisms that play a part in the survival of marine life. While the human eye can hardly see them, zooplankton are more visible when they grow in groups. They are found everywhere in the ocean, but most of them float near the surface where phytoplankton, another type of plankton, abound. Zooplankton rely on organic carbon for growth. They feed on phytoplankton, which can convert carbon dioxide and water to energy. Various species of zooplankton have adapted in different ways to survive. Some grow spikes for protection, while others have oil globules to make them float and move faster. Zooplankton are divided into two groups, the meroplankton and the holoplankton. Meroplankton are actually eggs and larvae of fish and crustaceans. They eventually develop more distinct features. On the other hand, holoplankton are those that are in planktonic state throughout their lives. But not all holoplankton are microscopic. Some, like the jellyfish, can grow up to 8 feet, with tentacles of up to 200 feet. Zooplankton are food for larger plankton, fish, and even whales. The decline of these zooplankton would cause a severe imbalance in the ocean's food chain. These silent aquatic creatures protect the ocean in their own small but important way. They regulate the population of phytoplankton, preventing toxins from spreading and harming marine life. And they flourish in huge numbers to sustain their own survival even as they provide sustenance to other living things, ensuring that all life will go on beneath the sea. <laughs>